All right, so this is what my under my sink looks like. I yeah, turned on my radio. <laughs> um, under my sink looks like a mess right now. So I tried some of these little uh, round containers. Um, I have some new ones I got at the Dollar Tree that are square that I think are gonna work a lot better for me, but actually all the chemically type stuff, I am going to move into the laundry room in a upper cabinet so I don't have to worry about have, keeping this locked um, since I have a toddler. So let's go ahead, pull everything out and reorganize it. All right, so I threw away obvious garbage. <laughs> and then from now on, for now I just put a lot of the stuff under there in these little green bins that I'm gonna move to the laundry room. I'm gonna go ahead and donate those black things right there are placemats and I have some more of them in a drawer and I'm gonna go ahead and donate them since I never use them. And then over here I have um, mainly like the dishwasher stuff and some cleaning kitchen stuff that I'm gonna put up in the laundry room, but I think I'm gonna try to figure out where to put at least one of the dishwasher things here in the kitchen up high in a cupboard somewhere. Um, so yeah, so I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna organize all the stuff underneath the sink, but it's amazing how much stuff was underneath there. Look at that. All that, all those products, which are a lot of products I didn't realize I even had. So you forget about them when they get shoved in there and it's all messy. Um, another reason to keep this a little bit more empty is that I can keep an eye on if we have any leaks or anything going wrong. And when it's stuffed full of, of things, and this is for all the spaces in your home, I feel like if you have things jam-packed every place and shoved into closets and under cabinets and cupboards, um, you might not notice an issue with your house, like a leak or something like that. So um, it is a little warped, the wood here, um, but I think that's from a previous time. Um, so, but I'm gonna keep an eye on it and just make sure we don't have anything currently leaking. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put everything I want in here. So it's mainly gonna be towels, washcloths, and all that stuff, and garbage bags. I think I'm gonna keep underneath here. Okay, this, I thought I would have more underneath here, but this is all I'm gonna keep under here. I have my garbage bags, which I need. Um, and then I have a bin of sponges and then cloths, and I have a bunch of new Norwex products, which I'm trying to switch over to that because it's a lot of chemical free cleaning and that's kind of what I want to switch over to. So I have that bin down here. I'm also going to do a paper bag right over here. I have kind of recyclables. Um, so I usually just, I'm going to have a one paper bag right next to the garbage over here where we can throw in recyclables as we use it throughout the day. And Amara said she wants to take out recyclables and garbage every day. So that will be her job. So that's all I'm going to keep under here. Um, yes. So now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with all this cleaning supplies. Some of it's gonna go in the laundry room and some of them I might ask my sister if she wants any of them um, for her house and then just kind of give them to her. Uh, but there you go. There is under the kitchen cabinet, clean up, clean out, um, get rid of stuff, minimalize what I own and what I have. 